So the kids just love the garden. They, first of all, they learn to care for growing things, for living things. They learn how to nurture. They learn how to, uh, you know, care for them, water and and uh, and all those types of things. And I know for me, my daughter was asking me about getting a dog. No, we got her a plant because <laughs> it's productive and it's the same thing. Water, you can love it. And then, boy, it helps the kids to appreciate the good, healthy vegetables and to actually, you know, experiment with eating them. Um, I remember the funny story of my teenagers trying uh, chard for the first time, eating chard, which is um, almost like a rhubarb kind of plant. But uh, they were chewing it and it was hanging down out of their mouth like a, like a cow, like a, you know, a cud. It was funny. But they ate it. They enjoyed it. Well, first of all, to get them excited, let them help make the box to begin with. Oh, that's uh, a good idea. You know, or let them help, you know, if we deliver a box to you, let them decide where to put it, you know, give them a little direction, but they could even help put the weed cloth down. Um, when I think about making the boxes, I'm thinking about my teenagers, because they actually did that. They actually put the boxes together and they, you know, they had ownership of it and they, they were, even the teenagers were excited about it. So. Well, and one thing I have to tell, because I don't know if Belinda will tell you, is she has a son who's on a mission in uh, Dominican Republic. And he actually made square foot gardening boxes because he had learned how to do this method. And so he was teaching the people there also how to square foot garden and setting up boxes for them. So this can really be yeah, service could, opportunities It really for them. can. He made the boxes for a family. Yeah, so and he was proud of that. Great little tools. I guess you found these at, at the dollar store. And how fun would this be for the kids? So you can get these anywhere. Walmart, the dollar store, there's little gloves for my kids to use because I I got the two, this is a four by two. Two by four. A two by four box. I got it from Belinda's website for my kids. They each have one box that they'll be in charge of. And then we found these cute little gloves for them that they can wear and a cute little you know, gardening rake and a, and a shovel. And actually, I can't even keep my, my two-year-old out of his because he loves it so much. And then we also found this one that would be fun for them to help turn the compost with because I, I think once you, tell, once you tell a kid no, then it discourages them and they don't want to join back in the fun. But if you can give them a way where they can be productive with you by getting the tools, um, I think it's really, really a fabulous idea. Oh, and they, they just would love these having these little tools. You know how kids just love things like that and knowing that they're their own and they, they can keep them right here in their box and ha always have them handy. You don't have to go searching for them. But the kids will love to water the garden too. And uh, you don't need to worry about them over watering it. Well, for one thing, it's their own box, so <laughs> you can let them do what they want. But um, you want to see something grow. In fact, if you want something to come up really quick, because kids will be anxious about seeing something, seeing those seeds come up. I recommend you put some radish seeds in because they only take about three days and they really come up fast. That is fabulous yeah. because yeah, they'll get bored if nothing's right. coming up. So that's a good one to plant. And keep the water filled, you know, beside their box. Let them have their own watering can because that's, don't take that away from them, the, the joy of watering this, their garden because they will, they will just love that. Before long, the water's going to be all gone, so in their can, and so they'll be done, the watery. Unless they find the hose and refill it up again, because they'll love it. So be sure they have some clothes on that can get wet. Take your child with you to the nursery or the garden center and let them pick out the packet of seeds that they might want to put in their garden. Um, you know, suggest to them. Most, most seed packets will have some really pretty pictures or, and we can suggest to them, of course beans would be a real popular one. You know, they'd like beans or um, my grandkids love cherry tomatoes. And, oh wow, yeah. yeah. The tomatoes you want to actually buy the start, the, the actual plant that's already growing. But as far as seeds, you can get the beans, you can get um, lettuces, uh, oh, carrots for sure. Oh yeah, there's a curious
Curious George about that too. Obviously my kids are into Curious George. I can't see this video. <laughs> but there is a Curious George where he learns to plant carrots and he dreams in, of growing the perfect carrot. So check PBS.org for that too. For And carrots, kids carrots like a lot of water. And they also don't need to be, they can almost be sprinkled on your soil and just just a sprinkle of soil over that. Uh, they don't need to be buried deep. And they like a lot of water, so that's a great one for the kids because you know they're going to be watering it all the time.